Welcome to the Pod Bible Podcast. Scroobius Pip and Stu Whiffin. Hello. 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 How's it going? It's going pretty well, thank you very much. What a pleasure this is. It the used gang. to be all three of us all the time, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I remember when we used to do the links together, we used to interview people together, we used to go into the ACAST offices. And now it's all that changed, you've, isn't it? You've abandoned me. Mostly. I blame the pandemic. Yeah. Well, sure, 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 sure. Let's, uh, let's just blame that. Um, <laughs> The reason we're here is not just to talk about the, the past and uh, and talk about how great Pod Bible is. We can do that another time. We're actually here because you guys have got a new podcast. You've both been on to talk about your your other podcast, your main podcast. Let's face yes. it. But you're doing something new, and we're excited to hear about it. What is it? Well, I mean, you, you literally j- j- just said we aren't here to talk about the past, and this new podcast is <laughs> basically talking about the past. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> so that's awkward. But no, yeah. Um, I came up with it. I heard a few di- di- different f- friends of mine and and musicians I'm fans of, kind of just t- 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 telling stories from touring and stuff like that. And I, it kind of got me thinking about doing a podcast about different elements of of my life and my and my history because like bits come up in podcasts, but my podcast is always about s- someone else yeah. and. Uh, uh, do you know what I mean? There's there's all these spe- specifics, and I thought about doing them as kind of picking a topic or an era and doing them almost as a monologue, but that just felt so boring and uncomfortable to me. I'm not really that guy. And Stu's really good at podcasting. I mean, I know we j- we joke he's got a lot of podcasts, but it's because he's he's a bit of a natural. So, and he's genuinely enthusiastic about finding out stuff he didn't know. It's one of the things I really enjoy, particularly on Off the Beaten Track and on when he was co-hosting the Two Girls a One Shot podcast, the genuine curiosity at stuff. So he seemed like the perfect person to ask to to pair up with me on it. And I kind of gave Stu a long list of subjects I thought we could do episodes on because it's a different subject to each episode. And he went through... And kind of and took and took it from there. So kind of over over to you on your experience of it, Stu. I think Pip was looking for somebody that was essentially nosy. Uh, yes. So uh, <laughs> realised through listening to uh, some some of my episodes that yeah, I'm one of them busy people that really likes knowing the ins and outs of people's lives. Uh, but no, it was it was a really lovely conversation uh, that happened. It was I was really surprised and. And, and and quite touched that, you know, for, for as much as he's my mate and, you know, well, he's both of our friends, it's like he is a, a podcast heavyweight. And, you know, through doing podcasts over the last years, and all of which is due to, to Pip being my mate and introducing me to, to podcasts and putting me on my first podcast and then putting my podcast on the on the network, it was it was really nice to say, look, the, the fact that he, he was either really desperate or... Um, genuinely thought, I reckon this guy could ask me these questions and it'd work. You know, I, I was proper, felt like I was really pleased and re- really, really sort of proud that he asked. And and yeah, I, I, he sent me over the list and I went through the list and I picked uh, the, the first season's episodes and said, look, these are the ones that I'd really like to sort of start with and went away and prepped for them all and... And I thought it was really weird because when I, when I launched off the beaten track, Pip was my first guest. And I remember just because it was a new podcast, feeling really nervous, uh, even though Pip's my mate and he was sitting in my back garden in the studio just chatting. But I remember feeling really nervous. But when we done this, I didn't feel nervous at all. I just felt really comfortable. And uh, and, and it was really nice because I've known Pip years. And and through the, you know the duration of this first season, sometimes it can get really deep. I'm, I'm sure Pip would sort of touch on some of the... Um, the, the the details of the episodes uh, in in a mo, but I got to find out loads about me mate, and you know, or, or, or that's one of the things I thought would be interesting about it is we have known each other for ages, but we've grown up in the same area and we didn't know each other for a very long time. There was there was a period we didn't know each other at all, a period where we knew of each other and weren't necessarily mates. <laughs> like you, you, you might say enemies for a certain period, and then there's I this. I wouldn't say that, but it's, it's quite well documented that I just thought you was a bit of a dick. 
Yeah, I used to break into Stu's club a lot because I was, I was too poor, poor to afford it, but I really liked it. So right. me and my mates would break in. So, so we had a bad reputation with Stu, understandably. But yeah, it made sense to get you to, you know, for us to, to, to fill in the gaps of what you don't know, to give an opposite perspective on some mm. of the bits you do know. And then just to, yeah, to have a good old old chat about it, or particularly on like music s- stuff and things things like that. Because again, also, you have been a touring musician yourself. You've been a huge fan of music and all that kind of things. So yeah, it all, it all came t- together nicely. And when we recorded them, number one, I was surprised at how much a prep Stu had done. <laughs> you listen to my podcast, I mean, he's not right? known for his prep. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Genuinely had really prepped... And number two, I su- it was really enjoyable, and there was a couple of points that got really emotional. Like there was a couple of points I got I, I welled up and and just things I didn't because again, although I'd kind of put the subjects out there, it's not like I've sat down the day before and gone, "Here's everything that we're going to talk about." Do you know what I mean? I I may have given some some bullet points or whatever, but then yeah, there was a lot of bits that came up from my youth or from my past that got me a bit emotional, and uh, yeah. Well, I think the listeners can tell that you guys have been podcasting for a long time and that you've done the Pod Bible podcast in the past because I'm just sat here. I don't even need to ask any questions. You guys are just, you know, going <laughs> through know all the, the bits, bits I usually go through. Yeah. But I love the idea because I think, you, obviously, you guys do have that shared history. Mm. <clears throat> so there is that overlap there and you've got the chemistry already from being mates, but also from podcasting together and doing the drunk casts and stuff like that. So, and I imagine you'll get a lot of that shared audience coming in to listen. But yeah, there's also so much of, of your life that, that Stu will be unaware of. And that's the beauty of podcasts, right? You wouldn't ask these questions when you're just together. Exactly that. And and there's a combination of topics as well, because I was also aware it is quite niche going, this is a podcast series all about me. But, but, but it's also got like the first episode is school days in general. So there's going to be loads of relatable stuff. There's an episode on my parents divorcing. So if mm. you're familiar with Scroobius Pep or not, it could be a topic that's of interest. Then there are ones of touring days, of working with Dan Lassac, of different things like that that are more specific. But yeah, it's important to me. It wasn't just really like only of any interest if you're a Scroobius Pet fan. There's parts of it that will be that. I'm under no illusion there. But yeah, I wanted to have relatable subjects in there and kind of tell those stories uh, yeah. uh, and I agree with you there I think that the, the, the school days one and definitely the, the divorce episode which I, I, I think was my favourite to, to record it was really interesting knowing, knowing your parents uh, and and to sort of get some sort of backstory on that and it certainly isn't just as you say for Scroobius Pip fans it's, it's, it's just a really open honest conversation about the impact of divorce which I'm sure thousands and thousands of people can relate to and mm. and, it, and it was a really really interesting one but you know when we talk about touring and things like that we you know and the work you used in with Dan and the stuff that you've done with the band again I don't necessarily think that that's something for a Scroobius Pip fan only I think that's people that are into music people that want to know about what it's like being in a touring band and the pressures yeah. that come with you know being in not just a band, and, but being in a duo, you know, in the and back the of a van. What touring is that? band as well? The mid-level touring band where we've got a tour van and we've got a tour manager, but we're not in a flash tour bus. It's still the back of a van. It's that kind of that midpoint of yeah. playing to a few th- thousand, and you generally hear the local band type story or the stadium band type story. So, so yeah, that mm. was an important thing because I was thinking I've not heard t- too much of that. The fact that we're playing two. S- sold out nights at Coco so it's like six or seven thousand people over that point but we're spending that whole month in travel lodges so, so it's, it's, it's not this like r- rock and roll thing it's the balance of, uh, of yeah. those worlds and the pressures and the pressures of yeah. being you know a duo in a van you know yeah. for months on end that's you know that, that, most people can relate to that through you know getting lost when you're driving on holiday with your partner, you know, in intense situations. <laughs> and that's just one journey going on holiday. You know, imagine yeah, that day after day after day. And, you know, it, you get a real insight into that pressure and the friendship uh, between you and Danny. So it's a, it's a really lovely 
really lovely episode that and, and and I think you know people that are just fans of music and fans of you know on the road type documentaries are going to are going to really enjoy that as well and what can people expect in terms of I mean did, I think you alluded to the fact that there's, there's going to be series so how many episodes have we got yeah so we've got the first series is five episodes um right we've got more than five more topics planned for series two but we wanted to release it before we start recording series two because we want to get people's opinions as well if there's anything listeners are like i'd like to hear more about this or i'd like to hear about yeah. this we want to get that interaction because again as stupid as it sounds there's so much i've forgotten <laughs> like like that if someone of reminds course. you go oh yeah we did that didn't we like particularly from doing music to broadcasting to acting to all these different things along the way there's loads like i'd, I'd even speaking now, not on our list is my days as as a street artist and doing a graffiti. I did that for years. I've got tons of stories on that, but I forget that. So yeah, we wanted to do these this five part first series and then let that sit for a bit and get more suggestions in, and then we'll record the next series and we'll see. Yeah, we'll see how far we can go. Wonderful, and I imagine uh, you guys will be featuring a lot in Pod Bible, of course. Hopefully, cover stars, right? Quite- Quite the influence. I don't know. About <laughs> Maybe it. the last, the last issue we ever do. Yeah. As long as I can be in the corner, little thumbnail of me. Um, brilliant. Well, uh, we can be the great. cover stars, and and hardest part of the ring can be um, the the main well, secondary, the secondary interview. Yeah. <laughs> if, if that exists by then. Um, thank you very much. It's a pleasure to uh, hear all about that. I'll definitely give it a listen. So you've got one listener at least. Excellent. And uh, yeah, we're going to get you back on for some recommendations very soon so people can look out for those. Love it. And best of luck with it. Cheers, Thanks, Ed.